This is Dr. Dave Gatros for COP3014 Programming 1 and what we're going to do today is look at the Bitset Library. Now you will see before you we've got our Visual Studio 2015 up and running and uh, I've got the uh, basic program with IOStream, Bitset, and IOMINEP. I may not need IOMINEP but we'll put it in there anyway. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to use the Bitset Library. The Bitset Library is there to allow us to display and manipulate binary values, zeros and ones. It makes it very, very easy. So I'm going to show you very simply, first of all, how to output a binary number. So let's say I want to output the number 10 in binary. Well, I can do it like this. See out. And the very first thing I need to do, I just need to establish a bit set value. I'm going to say I'm going to have 8 bits come out and I am going to put out the number 10 which has to go in parentheses okay well, okay I'm going to build a solution and debug start without debugging and you'll see the number 10 there's 8 bits up there and then the last uh, 4 one, zero, one, zero, which is the binary value for the number 10 so that worked out very well all right, now just to show you, you can do that with integers. Let me put an integer in there. It says my number, and we'll set that to 10. And instead of using the number 10 right here, we'll just say my number. Okay. Again, we'll build the product, build solution, and debug. And we get the same thing, number 10. So we see how we can take an existing number and um, uh, and convert it and make it a uh, uh, binary value. Now let's put it into a loop, okay? Okay, let's do a loop right here. This is, is kind of interesting. And we'll make it a little bit more um, explicit. For loop, and we'll say uh, int my number. We'll start it out at zero, okay? Well, my number, my number is less than or equal to 10. Okay, we will go my number plus plus one increment it, and we will output the uh, number here. Got to put a semicolon right there. Okay, very good. We're going to do a couple things here. We're going to make a block, and we're going to do something a little bit more complex. Okay, so we'll go up here and says we'll put a quote in here, the binary value four, and we'll put in my number is and there we go. Okay, let's run that and let's see what it says. We're gonna build, maybe we got an error in here, maybe we didn't, we'll see. Nope, it looks okay start without debugging and there you go and you see the binary value for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 all the way up through 10 looks very good let's go ahead and add some IOMINIP right here too alright so okay we'll say right here before it prints it out we'll say set width at we'll set aside 12 spaces alright let's build that build that solution that looks good start without debugging and you'll see that uh, we've got some very very nice spacing right here we could take care of that too let's take care of this one see this 10 right here pushes it over let's go ahead and take care of that so right before here my number we will say set width of um, we'll set aside four spaces build that solution okay Debug. And there we go. Now that looks much better. Okay, very, very good. Now, let's go ahead and let's create a bit set object. Okay, and we do that by saying bit set. And we say we want to set aside how many bits you want to set, any number of bits. Okay, okay, bits. And we'll call it my bit. Okay, it's uninitialized, which means none of the bits are actually set. Okay, in here, what we're going to do is we're going to actually give the value of uh, my bit my number and it'll do the conversion for us now instead of printing out this whole thing right here 
we're actually going to print out the my bit the bit set object my bit just as it is okay see how it will do a very good job of converting that so let's go ahead and do this okay we're going to build a solution build the solution okay it looks okay and we're going to start without debugging and we see the same results so there's an example of doing a bit set printing out a constant printing out a variable and putting it into a loop and converting a current integer into a bit uh, a bit set number or printing out the bit set number itself uh, I hope this tutorial it's a very very short little tutorial bit set is actually a very large very powerful library there's lots of features to it but uh, for assignment number two this should be everything you need to know about the bit set library to make it work hope you enjoyed it and uh, we're on to the next video